man. Um, what's up, guys? It's your boy D-Dog here. Normally, I'd be ahead of the game of making these videos, but you would think that creatively why, like, I would be pumping out content like crazy. Now, I've been pumping out the Resident Evil stuff. If you saw that, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching. Getting in, in the mix of trying to do gameplay videos or whatever, you know, and then stick to my Tuesday uploads for, you know, shoe, shoe related. Lately, man, um, nothing's have came out. Um, it, it looks like um, all the shoes are being pushed back. And, you know, in my state, they are thinking about extending the pretty much the at home order to the 30th of April. And pretty much, man, this whole coronavirus shit has been crazy. But in the, at the same time, um, I've been doing different shit. Like, you know, like while this whole pandemic has been going on. And when I say like different shit, I mean like I, um, I've been cooking more. Well, I got no choice but to cook because um, like I said, my wife and them, they're not here yet. You know, she's still recovering from her uh, C-section. So it'll be a minute for, you know what I'm saying? I don't know when she coming back. Yeah, I've been cooking. I've been looking up shit on YouTube, you know, different little, little ideas of cooking. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just eat the same shit. Even though I could go for a nice good Cadoba bowl. I've mostly been at home and I've just been watching, you know, researching other things about shoe related, you know, seeing, you know, seeing what's going on. Also trying to see what's really going on with my job, you know, looking up other ways of trying to be a better, you know, like photographer, looking up different creative ways of how to do stuff. I don't, I don't know, like right now, like with the photography shit, like right now, that shit is, that shit might be dead, B. Like, I ain't, I ain't gonna even hold you up. Everybody practicing their social distancing. Well, not in Detroit. I will, let's let's just say that. Like, not in Detroit. People are not practicing that shit at all. Tickets are now $1,000 if you get if you get caught slipping. While I'm here, I got you here. I thought I'd give off my top five of my, of, top five of my shoes of what I think are my top five in my collection. And I don't wanna rank them in no particular order, but if I had to go off, like literally just in the order that I got them, no, let's let's put them in the order that I, that I, that I have them in. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know what we get. So we're gonna start off, I got my top five. These are my top five shoes in my what i think in my collection are the best in my top five now everyone's top five is different everyone might may think that they may think all the other shoes that you probably see me post you may see they may think they're like wow like you pick this over this don't worry i know i got a sun glare like this is the worst place to be in the summertime because like this sun will just shine so bright and I can't even play my video game and I can't even, I can't even like literally like browse, be on my computer. I have to literally wear sunglasses when I'm right here. So, um, yeah. So I kind of had to move cause the way how the sun was like, it was really about to blind my ass. Let's get into some shoes, like like I said. So with number five, we're gonna bring out the Air Jordan Three, Air Jordan Three True Blue. That is the reason why I put this in my top five of my collection. I, I had this shoe when they released it in 2001. I regret selling them on eBay because at the time, I think uh, 2001, I was a high school student and I was strap for cash so i'm not gonna even hold you up so i let them go on ebay and i like lowball myself i'm not gonna even hold you up i lowball myself and sold them they were they were worn i i, I wore them you know what i'm saying uh, i think i sold them for like 150 at the time it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up these were retro again and I was so happy that they retroed them. I think these came out 
near my birthday. Uh, let me double check. Let me do some fact check. Yeah, actually, these are the shoes. These shoes came out on my birthday. These came out on my birthday. If you know when these came out, congratulations, you know my birthday. So that means like this shoe will always have a, this version of this shoe, the 2016 version will have a place, you know. I love when shoes come out on my birthday. Another shoe that came out on my birthday was the Carmelo Anthony 5.5s and I copped those on my birthday when they came out, I think in 2007, 2008. And I was so happy to have those 5.5s. 5.5s is really cool. I really think they need to re-retro those. They re-retro those, I'm copping those boys for sure. All right, so number four, this one may come out of left field on y'all because I know y'all probably wouldn't think that, uh, I will, I will keep something like this in my collection. Number four is Nike SB Dunk De La Soul Low. Now, if you don't know, like I, I, I love dunks, man. I love dunks. I've always been a fan of dunks. It's just that getting SBs are hard as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna even hold you up. These, these, these have been worn. I think I wore these to a tournament before. Actually, I wore these when I was in Texas uh, to a tournament. This shoe right here, I was so happy to win this off the sneakers draw. I like posted on my Facebook that I was so happy to win this shoe. And then ever since then, like it's been hard to get a pair of SB Dunks. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big Dunk fan. I've always, I grew up wearing Dunks. Uh, me and my cousin, we used to trade our, our pair of Dunks. It was so funny, I remember my cousin, he let me, um, he let we traded. I, I let him borrow my um, my black and red 13s for his all black for his all black uh, patent leather dunks. And like I was in high school and we um, I left my gym shoes at home and I was like, fuck, I got a hoop in these bitches. So I, I hooped in his dunks. So cuz if you're watching, dog, you know, <laughs> you got them. I hooped in your dunks one time, but you know what I'm saying? You got them back good though. I made sure I ain't really wrinkle them up like that. You know what I'm saying? But you got them back good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, dunks. Me and my cousin, we used to be on the we used to be on the dunks and Pumas, man. This is what this what we used to always rock: dunks, Pumas, and Jordans. I only have two SBs in my collection: this pair and the Air Costins. And I, I, I'm a, I always love the dunk the dunk brand, even though they look like Jordans in my opinion. I really think that they look like Air Jordan ones. We can. We can make this argument all you want. Uh, I argue anybody down. They look like goddamn Jordan ones. The next shoe also holds a cinnamon you value in my heart. This is number three. This shoe right here um, comes out of left field. Uh, got a little history about this shoe, but I bring it out, show y'all real quick. But you know what I'm saying? Bam! Air Jordan Four cement with the Nike Air on the back. You can see that, I don't know if it's coming with the Nike Air in the back. And uh, yeah, man, this is this is the shoe. This is one of the fours that I, this is one of my grails that I wanted. And uh, I'm a, I, I love the Jordan 4. Um, I just love how the Jordan 4 look. Back in the day, if you was a, if you was a, a Nike Talk member, man, like the fours, the sixes, the ones, the threes, and the elevens, those are like considered grails to, they were like holy grail to people in people's collections of what they wanted. And mine was the fours, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day when, when Jordan Brand finally released the, uh, the the bread fours, I hate saying bread, but when they released the bread fours with the Nike Air in the back, they released these as well with the Nike Air in the back. And I wasn't able to get a pair of any of those shoes because I wasn't working. My cousin, however, you know what I'm saying? He, I don't know how he came up across the pair of shoes. I'm not gonna ask, but let's just say he gave me, he let me let me have them for a minute. I borrowed them in a little bit and I was able to rock them or whatever. And you know, that was me and my cousin used to do, man. We used to trade shoes, man. We was always, we wore the same size. So at, at, a, at some point in our life, we wore the same size. So we was always shoe swapping with each other. You know, our feet weren't stinging. The Air Jordan 3s, right? That shoe right there, my dad has a picture of him playing the piano with a blue polo shirt on, light blue jeans, with the true blue threes on. I'm going to ask him to find that photo for me so I, so I can one day post it. 
So I don't think this is why, I, I know why he don't get mad about me and my little shoe collection, cause he know like he used to buy J's when he was a, when he was young too. My sister has a picture of her wearing the kitty version of the Air Jordan 4s back in the day when she was a kid. So she had these when she was a kid. And, um, and you know what I'm saying, certain shoes is all, just all sentimental to me, man. Like I, I like, I, certain shoes hold a certain value with me. Yes, I'm gonna wear these shoes one day. Next shoe we got up is one that comes out of nowhere. This was a low key shoe that I think a lot of people kind of skipped out on, but then they, you know what I'm saying, Some, if you know, you know. I found this shoe just by, just, I didn't even know these were coming out. This one I was working at uh, in the, uh, at my one job that I was at for six years. I was there and I, I went on lunch break. I went to the mall, I walked in and I saw them and I quickly called my boy like, yo, they got these shoes. Do you want me to get, on, get you a pair while they got them? And like these shoes right here, man, like these right here, dog, Red October, Red October Dunks, bro. Dunk Premium, bro. The correct term on the box is they are the Dunk Comfort Premium. They come in the the light crimson and crimson red, red October colorway. As you can see, I went on I went on uh, Amazon. My boy, he showed me. He put me up on game with the uh, with the red little, little the gold t tail things on there, and I put them boys on there. So whenever I wear these. I like literally be, you know what I'm saying? I, I wear the Yee, I feel like I'm on my Yeezy shit. They use the same material from, they use the same material from the Yeezys, I think, on this dunk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this shoe, if you can find this shoe in good condition, because a lot of people either skateboarded in them or they probably like dog the fuck out of them, you may find this shoe for the lows. If you go on gold or anything, you're gonna get taxed. If you go on StockX, you're gonna get taxed. Your best bet, I will say, and I, I think I'm gonna buy another pair, because uh, I, I love this color. They came in two colors. They came in this color, then they came in like an all teal colorway. And the crazy thing about it is on this shoe is that the sole actually glows in the dark on this shoe. They glow in the dark. On here has all like the little the little spikes as you would like on the Red October. And you know what I'm saying? It has the same material, bro. Like the same material from the Yeezys. Sway, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, bro. So these shoes right here, I was wearing the fuck out of these, man. Especially when I was in Texas. I was rocking these bitches like, I ain't care, bro. Let's get to the number one shoe. Now, I bet you y'all probably thinking, oh, they probably the Travis Scotts. They probably some Jordans. They probably some other shit, you know what I'm saying? From 2001, these are the original Cool Grays. Uh, a little history about these shoes. A lot of people were getting, uh, they, they was, it was getting pretty, they was getting harmed for these shoes, man. Um, they A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people got robbed for these shoes. A lot of people got beat up for these shoes. Like, yeah, man. So I was able to get these. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I wore these. If anybody, you know, want to know. Like, yeah, I, I I did wear these. I don't know. I'm, I'm always very skeptical about wearing these, this particular pair. For some reason, I just don't know, like, with this pair. Because, like, I know people go crazy over Cool Gray. It's something about Cool Gray that people just go nuts over, man. And like this 2000, 2000, 2001, that was a crazy time for shoes, dog. That's when Jordan Brand was really releasing heat. I'm talking, you was getting, you was getting damn near like Jordan 1s for like 50 to 60 bucks. You know what I'm saying? These were, these retail, these were like 1, 20 if i if i'm not mistaken these are 120 so you can see i still have a box that still go you know what i'm saying i you know what i'm saying i i keep a you know what i'm saying i i love that that 2000 to 2001 was a was a good year in my in my opinion for jordan brand they they was releasing like they was releasing heat i'm talking you had got 2000 you got the the playoff 11s you got the concourse of 2000 you ain't got the UNC, the actual UNCs. You ain't got the Space Jams for the first time. You ain't got the Cool Grays for the first time. You even got the Cherry, you ain't got the Cherry, uh, the Cherry Lows, 
the UNC lows. It was crazy. When them shoes came out, my brother was crying because he couldn't get that shoe, bro. He was crying because he couldn't get that shoe. Because, like, he wore, like, he wears, like, a, a, a common size. He wears that money size. So, it was really hard for him to, like, certain shoes. We literally had to be the first people in the store. You know what I'm saying? And, luckily, you know, his stepdad, not his stepdad, my stepdad, his dad, was able to get us in the mall, like, before everybody else. Because he was security at Northland Mall. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's from Detroit that watches this, you know Northland Mall was somewhat, Northland or Eastland Mall was somewhat the spots to go to get your shoes. You wouldn't catch me slipping at no Eastland though, cause you was gonna get your ass robbed. Northland too, but not like at Eastland. Eastland, you, heh, nope, I wasn't doing it. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for watching. I know this probably was a lengthy, long ass video and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next video. If you want, go ahead and hit that like button. If you can, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.